we're going to work through a nice gentle flow today so it'll be good to unwind the body after a long week it'll be good to relax the mind as well as the body and it will just stretch the body out so we'll do some long holds and always work to your own edge so don't force anything especially if you feel anything in the um, joints just ease off if you need to so we'll start in a comfortable seat and you put the hands wherever comfortable. Make sure you're lifting and lengthening up through the spine. And we'll start off with the head. So we'll just make some gentle head rolls in one direction. And just see how this feels for you today. Try and keep the shoulders away from the ears. And imagine you're drawing a big circle with the nose. Hands in one direction. Nice, if you haven't already, let's change direction. See how it feels circling around the opposite way. And then bring the head back to center. We're gonna bring the arms down line with the shoulders and we're gonna rotate the palms all the way up and around so the little finger goes towards the sky and then rotate forwards and the little finger goes towards the floor. So this is internal external rotation. Arms nice and straight. So we should feel the shoulders start to wake up here. Keep the core engaged and the shoulders away from the ears. Avoid hunching up. See how this feels. And you might notice one shoulder is a little bit looser or tighter than the other. Just ease your way into it. Really nice. So from here, we're gonna slowly bring the hands together in front of you. Interlock the hands, take a big breath in, and as you exhale, let's push the hands away from you. So you get a nice stretch through your fingers. Relax the head and take three breaths here. Feeling the upper back release. And on your next exhale, let's bring the arms above the head, get a nice stretch, open up the shoulders and slowly release, really nice. Let's bring the body all the way around now. So we're gonna come into a reclined pigeon. So a nice 90 degree angle with the legs, finding a right angle with that foot in line with the knee, knee in line with the hip, and then the same on the front leg. So I got my left leg forward. So if you wanna start the other side, you can. And you want to flex your front foot so it supports the knee. Make sure everything feels comfortable. Lift and lengthen through the spine. And then from here, we're going to ground the hands. And as you exhale, slowly forward fold. So just see how this feels for you. You might feel a nice stretch in the back of the hips. And then as you breathe in, slowly roll the body back up to seated. We're just going to work through a few of these in your own breath to your own time. And the closer you bring the head towards your foot, the deeper the stretch will be. So just ease your way into it. Really nice. We're going to now relax all the way down. So find your edge. You might be closer towards the knee, but just allow the body to relax wherever you are. Relax the head, relax the shoulders. And you might notice you drop a little bit deeper as the time goes on. Taking three breaths here. So inhale through the nose and long exhale through the mouth. Feeling the body slowly relax towards that front leg. And in your own time, let's slowly bring it back up. So we're going to try and control it round. So hands come in line with the shoulders. We're going to use your hips to bring the legs all the way around to the other side. Okay, and just making sure that, again, you're in that right ankle position. So my right foot's in line with my knee. My back foot's in line with my knee. Inhale as we lift and lengthen. Exhale as we forward fold. Again, slowly working through a couple of these. Bring your head towards the foot to deepen the stretch. Really nice. And then looking for your edge, maybe drop onto the forearms and relax into it for three deep breaths.
And then in your own time, let's bring the body up. Keep in a neutral spine, hands in line with the shoulders. We're going to control it back round to the left side. And then let's bring the legs all the way round into all fours. So the hands come underneath the shoulders, bringing the knees in line with the hips. So you want to find a neutral spine here. So the head's in line with the spine. If you can, bring the shoulders away from the ears. So you're actively pulling them down the back. Avoid shrugging. And then we're going to tuck the toes and just hover the knees off of the mat. We're waking up the core muscles here. So it's like a half plank. Stay strong in the arms for five, four, three, two, one. Lower the knees and let's bring it back to your child pose. So allowing the hips to sit all the way down. Maybe they touch the heels and we can rock it left to right here. Feeling some tension release in the lower back. Try and relax the shoulders and the head towards the floor. And we're going to hold it here for three more breaths. On your next inhale, let's bring it back up to that all fours position. Tucking the toes, lift the hips, downward facing dog. So the hips are high, the arms are strong. Again, try and bring the shoulders away from the ears to avoid any shrugging. Bend and soften into the knees and hold it here for three breaths. Feeling the shoulders begin to wake up. The core muscles are engaged. Bend into the knees as much as you need to in order to get a nice neutral spine. On your next inhale, we're going to float the body into a high plank. So the shoulders come over the wrists, you lower the hips and you keep the arms straight. I want you to feel the core muscles engage here. So we're really waking up the body now. On your next exhale, lower the knees, keep the core engaged as we bend into the arms and bring the body all the way down onto the floor. We're going to reach out with our right arm, so the right hand's in line with your right shoulder and let's gently roll onto that right shoulder. Relax the head and you can use this left hand for support. You want to feel this anywhere in the front of that right arm, so maybe the biceps, the deltoids, but keep the head relaxed. And on your next exhale, let's slowly come on out, straight into the other side, reaching out with that left arm, relax the head, and use your right hand for support. And on your next exhale, let's bring it back to centre. Hands come underneath the shoulders, squeeze the shoulder blades together as we push up onto your knees. Tuck the toes, lift the hips straight into your downward facing dog. So the hips are high. For this down dog, let's walk through your legs. Get a nice stretch in the back of the hips, the knees and the ankles. Bending into one knee at a time and allowing that hip drop towards the floor as you bend. Really nice. Keeping the feet in line with the hips, let's float into another high plank. you got it. Squeeze and hold. Feel the core muscles really wake up now. Then from here, we're going to lower the body down, drop the knees like we did before if you need to. And we're going to reach out again, this time with a right angle. So bend into that right arm, the right hand's in line with the elbows and just gently rock onto that shoulder. You should feel the stretch in your pectorals. So it's a deeper stretch, this one, bigger muscles involved. And if you don't feel it at all, just lift the elbow a little bit higher. And on your next exhale, let's slowly unwind straight onto the other side. So bend into that arm, relax the head and support with that right hand. And this stretch is really nice to do if anyone feels like their shoulders roll forwards, maybe from working at the desk or just posturally, you want to bring the shoulders back a little bit, this one can really help. On your next exhale, let's slowly bring it back to centre. Hands underneath the shoulders again. Push up onto your knees. This time, rock the hips back into your child pose. On your next inhale, we're going to reach your left arm underneath the right. So you come into a twist. The palm faces up and you can relax the head down onto the mat. Hold it here for three deep breaths. Feeling some tension release now in the back of your shoulders. So we just work the front. Now you should be feeling this in the back of your deltoids, maybe your middle traps, and just breathe into that area. Big breath in through the nose and long, slow exhale through the mouth.
And then in your own time, let's slowly bring it back. Straight onto the right side. Palm faces up. Relax the head. Big breath in through the nose and long, slow exhalation through the mouth. Taking your time to unwind and we're gonna bring the hips up now. So we're into this all fours position. We're gonna focus on the hips now. So we're gonna lift your right leg off the floor and we're gonna work through some gentle circles. So imagine you're circling anti-clockwise first and you can go bigger as the hips warm up so you can increase the size of the circle when you feel ready to but definitely start small that's fine you just want to feel that hip joint mobilize you're definitely strengthening the joint here so you might feel your glutes engage maybe your hamstrings we'll do three more in this direction keeping the arms strong And then when you're ready, let's go clockwise. So all the way around. Good work. Bringing both knees back down. Let's go straight onto the other side. Working anti-clockwise first. Again, start small if you need to. Keeping the arms nice and strong, we'll do one more in this direction and let's change direction. Really nice. So when you're ready, let's bring both knees back down in line with the hips. We're going to lengthen out your right leg now in line with the hips, so horizontally. Lengthen through your lower back. If you can, try and lift the tailbone up so you've got a nice flat back. Inhale as you bring the weight into your hands. And then exhale as you push your hips back towards the heels, but avoid rounding. You want to keep that neutral spine. And if you do feel like you're rounding, maybe don't go as far or bend into that right knee. Okay, so we just rock it forwards and back. The further back you go, the deeper the stretch will feel. So always go to your own edge. Exhale as you push back and lengthen the muscles. And if it is uncomfortable on that left knee, just pop a cushion underneath for support. We're gonna work through a couple more here. And then keeping the leg where it is, let's bring the hand weight back into the hand. So we've got a nice neutral spine. Inhale as we reach up with your right arm. Open up the chest, lengthen that right arm. And as you exhale, we're going to slowly bring it under the left. You can bend into that left elbow. Palm faces up. And then slowly come back into that first twist. So it's like thread the needle. We're going to work through four more of these. Exhale as you twist through. Don't worry about how far you go. As long as you're getting a gentle twist at the bottom, that should all be good. Try and look at your hands so you've got a nice movement in the neck as well as the arm. And then slowly ground that hand in line with the shoulder. With your leg, we're going to bend into that knee and bring it back to all fours. Staying strong in the arms, tuck the toes, lift the hips into your downward facing dog. So we're back into your down dog. We're going to stay working on this right hip for a few more poses. So on your next inhale, we're going to step your right foot in between your hands. Use that right hand for support if you need to. From here, let's try and control the arms up. If you need to, lower the back knee. 
If you are feeling strong, stay in your high lunge and reach the arms up and let's find a nice balance. Think about tucking the tailbone, the core muscles are engaged and either pop the hands on the hips, use a chair or keep the hands in line with the shoulders. Hold in here for another two breaths. This one really strengthens up the legs and you should be feeling a nice stretch in that left hip also. Big breath in as we reach the arms up, exhale as we slowly forward fold, the hands come either side of this front foot and we're just going to rock it forwards and back, high runner's lunge, inhale as we lower into that high lunge, exhale as we lift the hips into your triangle. If you need to step that back foot closer to the front, that will help with flexibility and if anyone's struggling to actually ground the hands on the floor, pop some books or blocks underneath your hands for support. Really nice. So we're going to finish in this high lunge. Keep both legs strong. Ground that left hand and reach up with the right. So we reach up and open that right shoulder. You can look over that right shoulder also and feel a gentle twist in the spine. On your next exhale, slowly lower the hand. We're going to ground that back knee. Take a big breath in as we lift and lengthen. Exhale as we rock it back. Low runner's lunge. So we're going to hold this uh, forward fold now for three breaths, as long as it's comfortable. Come out if it's too intense. Try and relax the head and shoulders towards that front leg and keep your front knee soft if you need to. On your next exhale, let's bring it back to your low lunge. Ground the hands. We're going to shoot this front foot back. You can keep the knee down if you need to or lengthen the leg and try and shoot it back from that high lunge. Wherever you are, find a high plank. We're going to engage the core muscles here. We're going to bring the feet just wider than the hips and work through 10 shoulder taps. So you reach one hand to the opposite shoulder, keeping the core muscles engaged and the hips still. Three, two, one. Lower the knees and let's bring the hips back into your child pose. Rocking it side to side if that feels good for you. And then in your own <coughs> in your own time, sorry, let's bring the body up. So sitting onto the heels as long as it's comfortable in your knees. We're gonna bring the right arm underneath the left for eagle arms. Either stay here elbow on top of elbow if that's feeling good in the back of the body or work to a full bind the palms come together you can lift the elbows and close down the eyes breathe into the belly find your breath and this pose is still you will just want to notice any sensations that you might feel binds are really good for circulation inflammation and just getting the joints healthy and mobile. You can either stay here or on your next inhale you can slowly forward fold. So allow your elbows to reach and tap the knees round in the spine and then exhale as we slowly bring it back up. Nice and slowly untangle the arms, give your shoulders a little shake if you need to. And let's bring the hands back down in line with the shoulders, tuck the toes, lift the hips, downward facing dog. From your down dog today we're going to walk the hands all the way back now so you're at the end of the mat towards your feet. We're going to find a forward fold, relax the head. You can hold on to the elbows here and just rock it side to side. Feel the spine relax and if you can, tuck the chin so the upper neck muscles relax here. Nice and slowly drop the arms and we'll roll it up through your spine, leaving your head last. Ground in your right foot. We're going to come into a tree pose. So your left foot can either come on the inside, sorry, below or above the knee. Just make sure you're not on the joint. Press in the heel in. The knee always wants to come wide, avoid it coming forward, so it's externally rotated. Hands may be on the hips, use a chair if you need to, or bring the palms together. Keeping your balance for three more breaths. You got that concentration and maybe reach the arms up. Find and lengthen the body. And 
And on your next exhale, let's slowly release, bringing the feet in line with each other, with the hips. Facing forwards, we're gonna ground the hands, bend into the knees if you need to, and just walk the hands all the way back into your high plank. Engage the tummy muscles, lower the body all the way down, drop the knees if you need to. We're gonna come into your first back bend, untuck the toes, spread the fingers in line with your elbows, and we're gonna push up through your fingertips, Try and keep the shoulders away from the ears, avoid slouching. And this one lengthens the front of the body, but it does compress the back of the body. So be really mindful in your lower back here. If you can, try and tuck the tailbone under so you squeeze your glutes and your lower abdominals. Inhale as we lift and lengthen. Exhale as we control it back down. Ground in the hands underneath the shoulders. Let's push up onto your knees and rock the hips back into your child pose. On your next inhale, we're gonna reach your left arm under the right, palm faces up. Relax the head like we did before. Three breaths here. Really nice, taking your time to slowly unwind. Let's go straight into the other side. Reaching your right arm under the left. And slowly unwind. Let's bring the body up to all four. So we're gonna reach out with the left leg this time. Left foot comes in line with your hips. Inhale as you rock forwards, exhale as we rock it back. And this side might feel a little bit tighter or looser than the first, so just ease your way into the hip. Again, keeping a nice neutral spine. Really nice. So finding some weight now in the upper body, still keeping that left leg out to the side. We're gonna take a big breath in as we reach up with your left arm. So open the chest, and then as you exhale, let's bring it underneath the right, palm faces up. Again, don't worry about how far you go through. It's definitely a strength exercise as well as flexibility. So just ease your way into it. You should be feeling your core muscles engage. And you're really pushing up through that right hand. So the right arm's really working to stabilize. We'll do four more. And when you're ready, let's ground the hands in line with the shoulders. Step that left foot in and we're back to all fours. Tuck in the toes, find a neutral spine as we lift the hips for your downward facing dog. Hips are nice and high, shoulders away from the ears. So we're gonna step your right, uh, left foot through. So big step, use the hand if you need to, lower the back knee if you need to, and as you inhale, let's control the arms up. Again, put the hands on the hips if you need to. Let's keep this balance for three more breaths. Allowing that front knee just to go over the ankle. On your next inhale, lift and lengthen. Exhale as we lower the hands, either side of that front foot. From here, let's rock it forwards and back, high runner's lunge, keeping that back leg strong. And again, if you're not actually comfortable with reaching the floor, pop some books or cushions underneath your hands to elevate the upper body. Perfect, so from here, find in your high lunge, ground your right hand on your next exhale, let's reach up with your left arm. Lower the back knee if you need to, but you're just looking for a gentle twist, feeling that left shoulder reach and open.
and exhale, bring that top hand down, lower the back knee, inhale, lift and lengthen through the spine, exhale as we rock it back. Find that forward fold, keep the front knee soft if you need to and just allow the upper body to relax here. Head relaxes towards your front knee. Really nice, taking your time to come forwards. So set the front foot back here if you need to or try and do it from a high lunge, strong arms, shoot the front foot back, choose child pose if you need to or let's do another 10 shoulder taps. Nice and controlled, keeping the hips still. Three, two, one, lower the knees and rock it back into your child pose. Well done. Taking your time to bring the hands back, finding a neutral spine. And if this is uncomfortable in your knees, just lift the hips if you need to. So we're going to look for eagle arms. Left arm comes underneath this time, right arm on top. Maybe look for a bind, inhale as we lift and lengthen through the spine. Maybe close down the eyes here as well. Reconnect with the breath. On your next inhale, maybe forward fold. Round in the spine, feeling some tension release, allowing the elbows to tap the knees and then exhale as we slowly bring it back up. Taking your time to release the bind, feeling the sensations as we roll the shoulders, bringing them back in line and let's walk the hands out straight into a child pose, keeping the hips where they are. Really nice. So taking your time to come up to all fours again, we'll tuck the toes, lift the hips, find that downward facing dog. And we're gonna walk the hands all the way back again towards the feet. Find your forward fold, hold on to the elbows, relax the head. And you can sway left to right, that feels quite good to release off a bit of tension. And then when you're feeling super relaxed, let's allow the arms to drop and slowly roll up through your spine. And we'll try your tree pose on this left side, ground in that left foot. The right foot either comes above or below your knee. Use a wall for balance if you need to here and allow that knee to rotate out, hands either on the hips to center. Or if you feel like you've got a bit of balance, maybe reach the arms up. And on your next exhale, let's slowly release, bringing the feet in line with the hips. Interlocking the hands now, nice shoulder stretch. Take a big breath in, exhale as we slowly forward fold, allowing the body to forward fold towards the floor and the hands come up and over the shoulders. Bend and soften into the legs as much as you need to. And then from here, ground into the floor. Keep the hands together as we slowly come on up and then untangle the arms at the top. Okay, we're gonna bring the feet a little bit wider than the hips. Just release off a bit of tension now. A few circles in one direction with the hips. Get a bit of movement in and then going back the other way. Really nice. We're going to finish with some deep stretches now. Feel free to change them or work to how the body feels. So taking your time to bring the body down, we can either repeat what we did at the start, 
we did your recline pigeon. So both knees are at a 90 degree angle. And if this felt deep enough, maybe try this one again and relax into it. We're gonna be holding it a little bit longer, so about two minutes, so make sure that front knee feels safe. Or you can lengthen out this back leg and find a full pigeon. I've got my left knee in front, but start right if you prefer. If you are in this pigeon stretch, you wanna relax the back leg, pop a cushion underneath the front hip if you need to for support if you feel like it's um, a lot of weight in that front knee. If you're not actually propped by the floor, that's when you need to prop with cushions. So wherever you are, inhale as you lift and lengthen through the spine and then just take your time to come down, maybe onto the forearms or stay on the hands if you prefer. Just working with your edge. So notice the sensations in the back of the hips. This pigeon stretch or recline pigeon is a big um, hip opener. There's a lot of big muscles involved. So just take your time to ease into it. Feeling some tension release as you breathe out. Really nice. So you're about halfway. Make any changes if you like. And you can also support the head with the hands on top of each other and allow the head to relax on the back of the hands. And wherever you are, nice and gently, bring the upper body up and we're gonna rock onto the hips. We're gonna bring the legs all the way around so they come around to the front. Give your legs a little shake. Sit onto a cushion if you need to. Inhale as we reach the arms up. Exhale, let's forward fold. Relaxing the head and allowing the spine to round. Breathe into the belly and just allow the head to relax towards the floor. and taking your time to bring the body up. So we're gonna cross the legs now. We're gonna start with the right leg in front. Make sure the knees feel safe. Sit onto some cushions if you need to, if it feels like a lot of pressure in the legs. Keep length in the spine, and as you exhale, we're gonna slowly walk the hands away from you. Just go to where it feels good. If you wanna keep walking out, you can. And you wanna be feeling this one in the top of that right hip. If you don't feel it at all and you want to go a little bit deeper, you just bring that right foot on top of the left knee and that will increase the stretch in this right leg. So allowing the body to relax here, we've got another five breaths, making sure that you're comfortable. And then slowly make your way back up to seated. We're gonna bring both legs back in front, give them a little shake if you need to. And we're gonna work through a high boat position. So a boat is a core exercise, it's also a balance. You wanna be sat on your sitting bones, lift and lengthen through the spine, and the shoulders come down and away from the ears. You wanna counterbalance with the legs. Okay, we can stay here for this one. Palms facing up. And I want you to avoid rounding, lift and lengthen, shoulders away from the ears and the head's in line with the spine. Keep holding for five, four, three, two, one. Perfect. Bringing the legs through or around, finding all fours and we're going to move through a few cat cows. Before we go on to the other side, so a bit of flexion and extension to realign the body. Round in your cat position and flex in your cow. Really nice. So, recline pigeon or full pigeon. I've got my right leg forwards this time. Relax the back leg wherever you are. Inhale as we lift and lengthen through the spine and then let's take your time to bring the upper body down. 
for your forward fold. Breathing into the belly and just allow the whole body to relax as you exhale. Holding it here again for two minutes, making sure that you're comfortable. And you're about halfway, so make any changes here if you need to. And as you come out of this stretch, again, be really mindful as we bring the legs round. Taking the movement slow, you can give the leg, legs a little shake again. Maybe give the shoulders a shake. Big reach up with the arms unless, again, find a forward fold. Relax the head towards the floor. And in your own time, bring the body up. So we're going to cross the left foot in front this time. Again, pop it onto the knee if you like. Or if it feels intense in the knees, again, sit onto some cushions for support. Inhale as we lift and lengthen. And just take your time to walk in front. See how it feels through this hip. And taking your time to bring the body back up to seated. So we're going to work through a low crow, uh, low crow, low boat now. So it's a little bit more in the lower abdominals. We can start at the top. And this one, instead of a neutral spine, you do round and flex the spine. So we drop down one vertebra at a time, ground the feet, palm facing up. And we're going to slowly lower it down, making sure the lower back touches the floor. You don't want to be here. You want to be all the way down into this crunch position. Either stay here or lift the feet off of the mat. Good. So imagine you're bringing the lower ribs towards the hips. You don't want to be here. Keep holding for five, four, three, two, one, and relax. Relax the head. Bring the knees towards you and we can rock it side to side. Closing down the eyes if that feels good. And just taking a few deep breaths. Feeling the legs become very heavy and relaxed. Good work. Ground in the feet in line with the hips. So we're going to come back up. If you want to skip this part, stay led down. But we're going to come back up into that low boat for 10 repetitions. So we're going to pop the hands on your thighs, palms facing down. Inhale as you lift the chest, crunch. Exhale as we lower. As you crunch, that's your low boat. Inhale as you crunch. Exhale, lower for two. You should be feeling this in the abdominals now. If you feel it in the back of the body, then just stop. Crunch. You might be going lower or higher than me. That's absolutely fine. We've got five more. Keep it going for two more. Crunch. And slowly relax. Keep the legs bent and we'll bring one hand onto your belly, one hand onto your chest. 
Let's take five breaths, breathing into that bottom hand, allowing the tummy to relax. Well done. So we'll work through a counter pose now. We're going to lengthen the front of the body and engage the back of the body. So from here, tuck the tailbone. You want to find a posterior tilt. And we're going to peel the spine off of the mat. Engage your glutes into this nice glute bridge. So you're working the hamstrings here, the glutes and the back. From here, you can interlock the hands with your straight arms and roll the shoulders back and down. So you're actually squeezing the shoulder blades together. This posture is really good for posture. Uh, this pose is really good for your posture. So especially if you're sat at the desk, your hip flexors become tight as well as your shoulders. So try and breathe into this stretch for another five breaths. Feeling some tension release through the front of the body and the back of the body is strengthening. Really nice, taking your time to untangle the arms, slowly lower the hips, one vertebra at a time. Moving into your happy baby, bend into the knees, reach for the toes or the inside of the feet. Big breath in and as you exhale, just lengthen the legs out slowly. You can keep the knees bent. You can either stay here or rock it side to side if that feels good for you. And this one's really good for your hips, so you do hold a lot of emotion and tightness around the hip area similar to your shoulders. So just breathe into it and allow the legs to become very heavy and relaxed here as you rock side to side through your spine. It's a really good little massage if you are on a hard floor to get some weight through the muscles of the lower back. Keeping the arms relaxed and the head and shoulders relaxed. Maybe close down the eyes and just notice the sensations And then really slowly let go of the feet and we'll just hug the knees in. We're going to hug the arms around the legs. Take a big breath in as we even lift the head and chest up. Feeling a little crunch. And then exhale as we slowly bring it down. Palms to face down in line with your shoulders. Inhale as you lift the knees up towards your chest. Exhale as we lower them both down towards the right. Feeling a gentle twist through the spine, allow that left shoulder to relax. Breathe into the belly here. Feel the heart rate begin to slow down. Really nice. If this is feeling good and you want to go a little bit deeper, lengthen out your top leg towards your right hand. So straightening out that top leg increases the stretch in the back of that top leg. On your next exhale, lower that top foot if it is on towards the hand. Bend into both knees. Bring both knees back up towards your chest using your core muscles and let's lower down to the left. Feeling a gentle twist. Relax the head and lengthen out that right arm. Maybe lengthen out your right leg again. Really nice and slowly bend into that top knee and again bring both knees back to centre. Rocking it side to side or add any extra stretches if you need to. 
So from here, we're gonna slowly lengthen out the legs. We do find a neutral position, but we're gonna come into a shape. It's called banana in yoga. So find a neutral spine. The feet are in line with the hips. And we wanna step the feet towards the right. So we make some little steps over to the right. And with your left leg, you can either keep it to the left or hook the top foot over the right. So your left foot's over the right. Okay, so your feet have come off on a nice angle. The hips have stayed where they started. And now we're gonna do the same with the arms. So reaching the arms above the head. Let's walk them over to the right. As far as feels comfortable, again, you can hook your left arm on top of the right hand to deepen the stretch. Breathe into the belly and just allow the side of the body to relax and lengthen. If it's uncomfortable in the shoulders, maybe bring the arms down. And then when you're ready, let's slowly unhook if you are already and let's walk over to the left, walking the feet across. Maybe you hook that right foot over and then the same with the arms, feeling a gentle stretch through the side of that right body. And then slowly untangle, bringing the body back to neutral. You can bring the arms down either side of you and we'll just finish in butterflies. So you bring the soles of the feet together, allow the knees to relax out. And we're opening up the hips here. If it does become too intense, just bring the legs out neutral. But you wanna allow the knees to slowly drop towards the floor. Breathe into the belly and you might notice a natural curve in the spine, which is fine. Allow the shoulders to relax here, and you're about halfway. Feel everything start to relax around the hips now. And then in your own time, we're gonna bring the legs out straight. So find in your neutral pose for the last position. Legs in line with the spine, with the hips. Arms can come down either side of you. If you're feeling cold, maybe add a blanket or jumper. But making sure the body's comfortable, closing down the eyes. And notice the breath, that natural inhale and exhale. Feel the heart rate really slow down now bringing the body into that rest and digest state. Keeping this stillness for 10 breaths, we'll begin the count at 10 and just work your way down with each breath, making your way down to zero. And if you lose count or reach zero, just begin again at 10.
And notice how calm and relaxed the body feels. And you're more than welcome to stay here for a moment longer. I can turn your screen off. But if you're ready to add a bit of movement in, just start with the fingers and toes and really slowly bring the knees up towards the chest. Taking some big breaths in. And then rolling onto one side, bringing the body up into a comfortable seat, finding a neutral spine, relaxing the shoulders away from the ears. You can keep the eyes closed and maybe work through a few head circles. And then bring the body back to center. Thanks for joining in, guys. Have a great rest of the day. And yeah, let me know if you've got any questions. Thank you.